I've been messing around with this little Toyan four-stroke single cylinder engine now for a couple of weeks and uh, I'm basically on an ignition system for it which is on a breadboard at the moment but fairly few components running an Arduino Nano got a flyback transformer here, 0.47 microfarad capacitor, an IGBT which actually fires up to the coil, voltage regulator for the Arduino, uh, and a couple of MOSFETs PWM out to the transformer. Uh, there's about 400 volts across the transformer and from the transformer we've got two 200 micron conductors coming up a piece of a Teflon pipe tubing whatever to the coil which is actually on the plug so this section here is the primary that you can see and inside that is the secondary. This gubbins here really is just to connect to the uh, plug so I've got something to get hold of and connect it or whatever. A bit Heath Robinson and a bit of blue tack still stuck around there but this is just a prototype. There are two connections to the primary from the capacitor, if I can focus, which are, where's my screwdriver, these two here. This one on the top actually is superfluous, it's actually an earth which is connected via a crock clip down to the engine itself because the engine is not electrically connected to the rest of the circuitry apart from via a hall center sensor which is a right sod to get to which sits underneath this flywheel and there's a magnet somewhere there on the flywheel which trips the hall sensor which goes back to the Arduino and triggers uh, an ignition pulse via the IGBT. Got all that? Right, so next thing, I'm going to try and start it without pausing it, but it hasn't been run for a little while, so power up. Uh, CDI circuit is running on 12 volts. Currently, we've got PWM going on here. To the MOSFET to charge to charge the uh, capacitor on that the top trace in yellow the green trace it looks noisy and that's got the signal from the uh, from the hall sensor on it and the bottom trace is the uh, voltage across the capacitor as you will notice as it's not running I'm only drawing a hundred milliamps from the power supply because the Arduino knows the engine isn't running so it's got a very 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 uh, low duty cycle and also a high frequency going to the transformer. Once it sees or once it triggers an ignition pulse that pulse width will pulse width duty cycle will change as will the frequency which will actually drop and that will kick the capacitor up the arse basically and charge it in less than a millisecond and then the Arduino goes back oh I don't need an ignition pulse again I've charged the capacitor um, so I'll cruise again uh, but we'll have a look at that in a minute whether this will start or not I don't know but I'm not going to pause it I'm going to just hit start.
charging and then charging again, dropping down, coming back up, getting a kick up the arm and back up the bolts again. Scale. So, coil on plug. Early stages needs pretty fine, but the crux of the matter is that when it comes to my V10 eventually, that coil has got to fit in that pocket, and there's going to be five of them and depth to the plug through this lot is about 20 mil hence I'm not too fussed about the length of that actual connector it's basically to test the principles of can you do coil on plug on a small model engine and I think that pretty much concludes that you can more to come early days but I'm quite pleased with that. Tore off in here.